at example three, working backward. A car that normally sells for $20,000 is on sale for $16,000. The sales tax is 7.5%. What percent? So it's important that we're looking at what we're being asked right now. We're looking for what percent of the original is the final price of the car. So right now, part, percent, and whole, right now, right now what we're looking for is we're looking for what percent. And we want to know what percent of the original, and so we know whole is original and it even says of, and we know we're multiplying this times this because of the word of, and so our original price of the car, it normally sells for $20,000. And so then, therefore, our part is going to be 16,000. Part equals percent times whole part 16,000 is equal to percent times the whole. So we're dividing both sides by 20,000. So 16,060 divided by 20,000 equals 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is equal to x. We need to move that percent or decimal two places to the right to get a percent. And so it is 80%. of the original. So in other words, you're getting 20% off. It costs 80% of the original, and so there's 20% left to get to 100, so it is 20% off. Find the discount rate. Okay, oh, and I just said that. Whoops, I got ahead of myself. 100 minus 80, now we get to write it, yay, equals 20% discount. That's our discount rate. That is our percent decrease. By law, sales tax has to be applied to the discount price. However, would it be better for the cons consumer if the 7.5% sales tax was calculated before the 20% discount was applied? Why or why not? Okay, so let's test it. We're going to have the, if we apply the sales tax first, apply Sales tax first. Okay, so on this side we're going to apply the sales tax first. On this side we're going to um, apply the discount first. Okay, so the sales tax is 7.5%. And a tax is something we're adding on, so we're going to take 100 plus 7.5, which is equal to 107.5%. Okay. And then remember we move that decimal um, two places to the left. One, two, and so that's going to be our uh, percent that we're going to use here. So part, percent, and whole. So our percent we're going to use is 1.075. We want to be precise, so we don't want to round anything at this point. Um, so we're 
applying the sales tax first, so therefore we're using the $20,000. And we don't know our part. So P is equal to percent times the whole. P is unknown. Percent is 1.075. And then $20,000. So 1.075 times 20, 1, 2, 3,000 equals. 21500 21500 X is equal to $21,500. Um, and that's, so that's before. We haven't done the discount yet. Now we have to do the discount. Um, and so we have our art percent whole. I should have written smaller. The part Let's see, so our percent, how much of it are we paying? We're going to pay for 80% of it because remember it was 20% off. And we're going to pay for the whole, which was $21,500. That's This is the whole we're using now because we added the sales tax on it. And then our part is equal to X. So P is equal to the percent times the whole. X equals 0.80 times 21,500. So 0.8 times 21,500 equals $17,200. That is the price of the car. If we apply the sales tax first, $17,200. Okay. So this was the first thing, and then this was the second thing, and then this is what we actually got, $17,200. Okay, so this one, if we apply our discount first. Okay, so we have our part, our percent, and our whole. We're applying the discount first, and so our discount was saying we we're getting... Uh, we're only paying for 80% of the car because we got 20% off. And so our whole was $20,000. And our part is X. So part is equal to percent times whole. X is equal to 0.80 times 20,000. And we did that earlier, right? Okay. Not maybe not exactly like that, but I think we still got the answer. Oh, because we were given it times twenty thousand equals there's that sixteen thousand we were originally given. So X is equal to sixteen thousand. Okay, so that's our discounted price, which we had in our work problem. Okay. But now we need to apply the um sales tax. And so remember our sales tax part percent and whole our disc our sales tax was 1.075 cuz it was 107.5% moves a decimal two places and then the whole price what we're paying um for the car is $16,000 so we're looking for x again Part equals percent times the whole, so part is equal to, oops, not part, X. I didn't fill in. X is equal to 1.075 times 16,000, and so when I do that, See, there's a 16,000 already in my calculator, so I'm just going to multiply it times 1.075, which is equal to $17,200. So did it make a difference on which one I did? And it didn't. I can apply the sales tax first, or I can apply the discount first, and I actually got the same price on both. Um, 
and it says by law you have to do it to the discounted price but it did not actually make a difference and so write an equation applying the commutative property to support your answer and so we have our original price of twenty thousand dollars and we're multiplying that times one point zero seven five and then we're taking that and we're multiplying that times 0.80. And see, I'm getting that from this is one, the 20,000 times the sales tax. And then we take the answer to that question and we multiply it times 0.80. So remember, multiplication, it doesn't matter what order you go in. So on the other side, we have the 20,000. multiplied by the point eight to get the um, discount first and then we're multiplying it times the 1.075 so commutative property says we can go in any direction with multiplication and so that is proving it is true that's why it does not matter in this case what order you go in um, with multiplying it Unlike the example we had before where we said we couldn't combine the two different discounts. Okay. Example number four, write an equation to determine the selling price in dollars, which is P on an item that is originally priced, priced at S dollars after a markup of 25%. Okay, so... P is our sale price is equal to 1.25 because we're taking 100 plus 25 because it's a markup which gives us 125% and we move the decimal two places to the right. So that's how we get that. And then the S is the amount of the original which is what we have when we have um, P is equal to part times the, or percent times the whole. Part equals percent times whole. That's the same thing that we have here. We're just using the letters they want us to use, which was P for the dollars and S for the original uh, price. Okay. Um, or we can write it as P is equal to if we did the 0 0.25, the amount that we were taking off, plus 1 for 100, and then we're multiplying that. So all we did here was we broke up part um, 1.25 to 1 plus 0.25, which equals 1.25. They are the same thing. Um, so just like our equations, y is equal to kx. So our K is our percent, our X is our whole, and our Y is our part. So it all comes back together. Part B asks us to create and label a table showing five possible pairs of solutions to the equation. So we need a table. Okay. Make a nice big table here. And we need five. So title and then one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one. Okay, so this is going to be the price before. Before. markup and this is going to be the price after markup and so let's use just 10 20 30 40 and 50 it didn't clarify it didn't say anything we had to use it just said five possible pairs so we can make it 10 20 30 we could make it any numbers we wanted on the left side uh, find the next video to continue this lesson